cute robot bugs, a vaccine for everything, and playful dolphins. This is 5 Science Stories for you in 3 minutes or less. No time to waste, let's get started. Forget the flu vaccine, what about a vaccine that protects against everything? We're not there yet, but a new mRNA vaccine may help protect against any viral infection. The vaccine deposits a genetic code for 10 proteins that your cells then begin to produce. In early trials with hamsters and mice, the proteins restricted infection of influenza and SARS-CoV-2 viruses. The proteins were found in people with an immune deficiency of a regulator called ISG-15. Roughly, an ISG-15 deficiency produces 60 proteins that cause a mild but persistent immune response. The vaccine only uses 10 of these proteins and expresses them only temporarily. This is not an everything vaccine, and it does still have challenges, but it is promising that so far it works against every virus that the researchers have thrown at it. Despite being terrifyingly large, whales are friend-shaped, and dolphins seem to think so too. Okay, quick acknowledgement that dolphins are freaks, parentheses derogatory, but scientists have documented dolphins playing with whales. Play is an important part of mammals' development, but play between species is pretty remarkable. Dolphins will jump around, pet whales on the nose, or get lifted up by whales' nose as they swim. In response, some whales will just ignore them entirely, but others will roll around or slap their fins playfully. Scientists have developed a new mechanism to build mini robotic bugs. Not all robots are solid metal frames, some of them are soft robots, think of Baymax. The mechanism combines electromagnets with a soft elastic material to mimic muscle. Just like muscle, the design uses a springy, soft material with an active component to be able to expand and contract the structure. There were a few bug designs that were able to traverse different environments on their own by crawling, swimming, and jumping. Look at these guys! The idea is, these could be used for search and rescue, inspecting infrastructure, or even deep sea exploration. They could also potentially coordinate to work together and solve complex tasks. The Grand Canyon is deep, like really deep, and scientists just found Cambrian fossils from half a billion years ago in its walls. Among the bizarre creatures found are slugs with chains of teeth used for scraping, and cactus worms with branching teeth used to sweep food into its mouth. One thing that stands out is that the unique geology of the Grand Canyon was able to preserve not just bones, but also soft body parts like in slugs. The partial fossils of crustaceans, mollusks, and worms give us a glimpse at early life as creatures were beginning to develop new feeding mechanisms. And finally, we'll end the week by honoring Jim Lovell, the commander of the Apollo 13 mission who passed away earlier this week at age 97. Lovell was also the pilot for the Apollo 8 mission that circled the moon and sent back the famous Earthrise photo. Lovell was capable, passionate, and he inspired countless hearts by helping to truly pioneer human spaceflight. I'd like to thank him for his service and offer my condolences to family and friends. That's all for now. You can support me on Patreon and Ko-Fi, and subscribe for more next week.